because they've exhausted all the movie scenarios about the Pen Fairy, they've moved on to something else. The Eraser Fairy. <laughs> Not quite. This is Tai Xian, or Table God, as in God on a table, or God in a table, or a God called by a table. This is going to be a banger of a movie. Hi, I'm the Artie Dans, and welcome to episode 9 of my Chinese horror movie reviews. And this one ain't half bad. It ain't half good either. I've definitely seen worse. Would you say it has potential? Yes, a little. Let's check this out. And don't forget, this whole video is full of spoilers. But I'll leave a link in the description for a website where you can go to watch this film. How awesome. Share the love. There's nothing really original in this plot. It's fairly standard for a Chinese teen horror film. Six young adults, university students I assume, get stranded on a muddy road on their way to a temple. With no tools to change their flat tire, they abandon their vehicles, both of them, even though only one has the flat tire, blocking the single lane road from any other traffic and head to a mysterious villa where all the furniture is covered in white sheets and lit candles are everywhere. For fun, it's always for fun. They find a table and decide to play the table god game. The three girls and the boyfriend of one of the girls conduct the ceremony, but seemingly nothing happens. Slowly, one by one, each person falls unconscious and reawakes at the table with a mysterious voice beckoning them to ask a question. We never get to hear what the question is, but we are witness to a flashback involving a fourth girl. They are all somehow connected to this girl. The man is her ex-boyfriend, one of the girls is her best friend, another is a love rival and the third is her intellectual rival. They've all had negative experiences with her. Ah, I think I see where this is going. Yep, yeah, this is a pretty obvious one. As in mythologically, or as in who is the table god in this movie? I'm going to assume that the table god is another thing like the plate ghost and the pen fairy that are scary games that children play or teenagers play. And for the sake of knowing what we know about Chinese horror movies, we also know that ghosts don't exist. So in this movie, who is Tai Xian? Well, there are two other guys who travel with the other four. One of them is the one who suggests they play the table god game, so automatically all of your suspicions should point to him. And with good reason, he is the fourth girl's younger brother. So who's the other dude? Well, he had a crush on the fourth girl. So as you can see, in a typical movie scenario, all of these people are connected. It's just that some of them don't know. Right, I didn't. Good point. A bit more story. The fourth girl is dead, driven to suicide after a rumor was spread around campus of her being gang raped. All four of the people involved in the table god ceremony were also involved in her death. Her boyfriend rejected her after she'd been attacked, but was actually never raped. Her best friend overheard the boyfriend telling his drunken friends about what happened to her, and she contacted the new girlfriend about an opportunity for her to seduce him while he was drunk. News gets out about the attack, and the intellectual rival decides to embellish the story and post it on the internet. The guy with the crush had an opportunity to stop the attack on her, but just watched from a distance. So the brother works out a way to get everyone together to get revenge for his sister. Ah, this is getting annoying. Just tell us what happened. I'm getting to it, trust me. Through the use of a hallucinogen, the four table god participants start seeing a kind of Yuri, the Japanese long-haired ghosts. This ghost is supposed to be the fourth girl, but in reality, it is the younger brother. Cross-dressing? Norman Bates style? Not quite. 
the hallucinogen is more used to implant a memory into the mind of the participants, including the crush who was the one who provided the hallucinogen to the brother. So in reality, there is no table god. It's just a suggestion based on a hallucination. Quite clever, really. Yes, because usually these movies create complexity with their stories, but this one keeps it simple. It's just my explanation was a little long-winded. There is some potential with this film. A few slight improvements could have made this a half-decent movie. The first would have been if it wasn't set in China, but if we have to consider these restrictions, I think a few things were well within the filmmaker's grasp, like the spirit's voice, the music, the sets, and the dialogue that could have all been improved. This movie feels like a cheap rush job, and unfortunately, that's the end result. The acting is typically wooden, with more stereotypical characters rather than real characters with personality. The crush is a weird loner nerd? Check. The love rival is a cute as a button bitch? Check. The best friend was being bullied by others before meeting the fourth girl who instills confidence in her? Yep, that's here too. The settings are also typically cheap. A remote villa, which is very common for these horror movies, and sheer curtains everywhere, especially during the table god ceremony. Why doesn't anyone ever do these ceremonies on a mahjong table, for example? It's the perfect size. Well, if the cast was a bunch of old aunties who chain smoked, then a mahjong table would be perfect. One of my favorite things about the movie is the girls keep keeping around the textbook about Microsoft Office. And the audio suffers as well, with the usual ADR rather than sync audio, music that's either too dramatic or too low in volume, and the generally silly voice of the spirit. I think a whisper would have been effective rather than the voice modification they've done. But I've seen worse Chinese horror movies, and unlike most, this one keeps up the horror pretense for most of the film before it diverges into the usual thriller drama mode. Using my patent pending ghost rating, which stands for great horror or stupid trash, this movie gets three ghosts. Why? Well, as mentioned, it's actually a half decent horror movie for the Chinese. It's important to emphasize that for a Chinese horror movie. And with just a few improvements, it could have been a lot better. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to support the channel and keep up to date with my latest videos like this. Thank you for watching.